Okay, today, <laughs> in this short family vacation, I'm at the North Sea. And uh, yeah, I was outside this evening about 10 p.m. And what happened? Student. And yeah, it Promenade, nothing special really, but uh, is actually special. It's it's very touristy. I mean, come on, you can see here it's really one hotel after the other, and yeah, this little town of Dunen is really <clears throat> touristy to a fault. So you probably can't really see it, uh, it's a night cruise line, about 10 o'clock or so p.m. and you can really walk out there for uh, I, I cannot play, yes, yes, I can play, I can capture, I can capture. You can kilometers really kilometers it's it's really astounding it's called the button there and uh, another thing uh, that's really astounding that people usually come here to sit in these thingies I don't even know the <coughs> German name but it's uh, uh, the English name but it's called uh, a Strandkorb and yeah there are Corps all the way for playable for rental and stuff. I think it's not even cheap. It's uh, something like I don't know, uh, ten bucks just for the afternoon. And I'm going to be attacked by a car right now, so I better stop. Just looking at the clouds, which are. Really looking insane. There should be something back there too. Yeah. Really insane. It's the next morning, weather is not so hot, but there is a procession of sailboats, one after the other, coming out of the harbor. There's the next one, or next two. There's the next one. No, that's not a sailboat. Oh, okay. I didn't want to focus on that. There, sailboat. More sailboats.
next sailboat. And another one. And another one. Yeah, and that's it, I think. Okay, some writers out there waiting for their turn to get into the harbor. One sailboat, oh, it's quite far away. Next sailboat, another freighter. Sailboat, sailboat, <laughs> sailboats. And another two sailboats, three to be exact. Sailboat, sailboat, what's that? Ah, too far away, but it's big. Freighter and a sailboat going in front of it. There it is. Sailboat. And that is going motoring in, motoring in into the harbor. Oh. Coming out of the harbor, sailing. Another sailboat. And what's that? Uh -uh. Okay, not a sailboat. That's it for now. So we are a few hundred meters inland from the coastline. And I'm standing here, I will give you a zoom, on a Bronze Age ring wall. So I guess uh, there in the middle there was the settlement. And the ring wall of course goes all the way around through the bushes here. Uh, Back to that path where I'm currently on. I'll try to give you a close-up soon. So yeah, nowadays of course it's all eroded, but uh, I think you can make out the line where that ring wall was. Uh, I, I barely can on the little camera display, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. Okay. I'm approximately in the center of that Bronze Age ring wall and yeah, much better view. And uh, uh, you might have noticed <laughs> uh, there's not much to film here. Uh, yeah, the uh, tourist trap downtown of Dunan, of course, uh, which I'm not very interested in. Uh, yeah, so I will actually take a walk around that ring wall. I mean, that was not a big settlement. Yeah, that's maybe uh, 20, 30 meters uh, in diameter. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh -uh. Stumbled there. Let's take a walk around.
Yeah, it's quite eroded. I have absolutely no idea if there is actually a path or if I'm just stumbling through here. There was a path on the other side, but on that side it really doesn't look like much, does it? But then it's quite old. Bronze Age. So yeah, there's definitely a path here again. And I think we're almost, almost, almost half around. There's a the little ditch here. Then it goes up again. And I have no idea if I can make it through here. It's not very well traveled, that path, most definitely. <laughs> Since the Bronze Age. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. Yeah, but here. It's getting better. Yeah. That was the center path I was standing on, which is much more pronounced and traveled. Maybe it's a good idea having not too many people, you know, walking on the mount, because I guess at one point in time it was much higher. I mean, it was for defensive, defensive purposes. Uh, yeah, maybe one, two dozen people lived here in a small settlement. I have no idea, together with the animals. And we're back at the start. There was that center path and yeah, here's my coffee. That's the Twelberg Mount, uh, yeah, Bronze Age gravel site, grave site. About uh, 1,200 years before Christ, <clears throat> a lady was buried there, uh, according to the plate, which I uh, show you a photo of. And yeah, that's the dam uh, separating us from the North Sea. Yeah, I wanted to film the high tide, but I missed it by about uh, 10 minutes. So the water has already receded a wee bit. <laughs> it receded about 10 meters, well, in height. Uh, 20 centimeters maybe um, yeah the weather is, <coughs> the weather is what it is and yeah uh, there you can see at high tide that thing is almost floating it's not really floating they beached it but it's uh, at least <coughs> the hull is wet the bottom of the hull is wet but uh, yeah that's high tide. Officially uh, log time 846 and I started filming at 855 local time. And I will try to give you a shot of low tide uh, with a really nice zoom out there into the nothing. Uh, yeah, and it really looks like into the nothing and at that time of the day there's obviously absolutely nobody here at the beach uh, but you see this <clears throat> let me get a little bit closer this really endless skyline of hotels here it's uh yeah high-rise hotels. It's really um, very 
touristy here and but at least you know there's a beach there's a beach there in the distance they are still doing some work on the beach yeah they constantly work on the beach to you know to make sure it survives but uh, My style of vacation, but it is what it is. And yeah, there are seagulls here, but they keep that distance, so I really have to zoom out here. So I'm here in a <laughs> uh, nature preserve area or somewhat. It's also a world, nature, whatever, a little bit north of Dunan. And yeah, the weather is still interesting. I'm on an observation platform here. And yeah, the north sea coast and there's a building there in the back. <laughs> Maybe I do a zoom later on and yeah woods which is uh, not too common here <clears throat> at further inlands you have actually woods that <sighs> deserve the name I'll give you a zoom from the coastline in a second okay you're not allowed to enter these flat areas directly at the coast and that darker thing there is actually a fog bank okay and these flat areas directly at the coast before uh, yeah reaching the dune or yeah well they call it a dune a kind of a natural dam uh, well, it's it's for the animals, of course, but it also serves the purpose of protecting the coast. There's a school class arriving here right now, so I will probably stop filming. And yeah, there is the dune, which gives you some elevation, and then there's all that flat land. Flat and wetland. Here's that observation platform <clears throat> with an annoying school class and everything. That's the way back to Dunan. And yeah, it started to rain a little bit, but just to give you an idea, yeah, <clears throat> that's the border to the wetlands. You are not allowed to go to the wetlands and yeah, that's the big dune. Or mount, they call it a dune, uh, protecting uh, the coastline and before that the wetland stretching out quite a while also protecting the coastline and uh, as I said the, the dark line there that's a cloud bank over the North Sea or fog bank I have really no idea and this basically stretches on forever there we have some uh, yeah, things for breaking waves oh, oh, oh lost my focus there things for breaking waves a little bit far out as far as you can see okay that there in the distance <laughs> uh, it's only a few kilometers away but that's the island of Neuwerk uh, three square kilometers and uh, highest elevation is seven meters about sea level uh, yeah you can actually at a, a outgoing tide walk over there if you are 
<clears throat> very, very fast. Uh, yeah. Or you can take a horse wagon tour over there. Also an outgoing tide. And yeah, I'm sorry, but the weather is not very good for such shoots. Uh, and they are constantly working here on the coast. Some machines here working. Yeah. Okay, we have some birds and some evening impressions here. From the coast. Standing here exactly below the Kugelbarke, and yeah, I will give you another shot later on. But yeah, that thing is actually huge and was built. There's another leg, there's another leg, there's the fourth leg. So that's a green buoy uh, far out marking the uh, don't let me get that wrong the uh, yeah the west bank of the channel leading up to Hamburg on the Elbe.
That's the yellow buoy marking yeah, the danger zone beyond the channel. And there should be a red buoy too somewhere, I don't know. Just to give you an idea how far the yellow buoy is away from my car. Another shot of that sailing vessel. Yeah, no. Kind of bit of boring, but it's a nice sailing boat. And there out there. And I came. That's a tiny bit disappointing. A few hundred meters inland uh, there is the fort in Kugelbarke, but obviously it's <coughs> closed. But I think you can uh, walk around the mount mode, 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 fort mode. Oh, we will see. Let's have a closer shot. Yeah, there's the moat and there's a bridge over it that continues. I will walk down the moat and maybe see a little bit more. Another little structure, yeah, just reaching into the moat. Moat? Moat? Please tell me what's the right pronunciation for that was water filled thingy around a fort. Mm, yeah, I'm just walking here through the woods along the moat, 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 and uh, yeah, it goes on for quite a while. Another little structure here at the end of the moat and uh, I think up there with overexposure is again a road or something. Yes, indeed, that's the top of the structure, and we're coming out here on a road on the land side of the dam. There's a lot of traffic, so I will stop filming now. And of course, that entrance is. See, it's it's quite a structure. And here we have the whole thing from another perspective. I'm now up at the road, which is running <laughs> on the dam. We're at my starting point again. There's the Kugelbark. You can see actually some of the structures on top. 
top of the fort. Uh, not really much to see. It's all overgrown. And I think... No. No. Yeah, that's a modern addition here. Yeah, everything else is really overgrown. Nothing really to see here. But at least the renovation has been paid for in part by the European Union. Yeah, that's the European flag there. And yeah, I was coming from back there and we're now going <laughs> again along here towards Cuxhaven, the harbor. Almost missed it. Catamaran ferry going out from Cuxhaven over to Helgoland. And yeah, I'm still standing here on ah, the dike. It's called a dike in English. Now I got the word, uh, walking towards the arbor of Hamburg, uh, Cuxhaven, of course. So I made it to the <laughs> first harbor basin here in Cuxhaven, and yeah, that's a rescue cruiser. And well, some more ships here. So, and the next basin, uh, just walking along here, is obviously the marina. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> greenery. Nothing too fancy, nothing too big. <laughs> I saw bigger marinas and smaller towns in the Mediterranean. But hey, it's a marina, uh, or greenery, um, so sorry. They really don't make this here for tourists. Oh, and, 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 and I see, I see a nice boat. I see a nice boat, can I zoom in? Where is it? There it is. Very nice boat. And just for <laughs> size comparison, yeah, the buoys we saw. Um, I'm standing here, or the camera is about, I don't know, five meters high. The buoys go beyond that, so I guess they are a good six, seven meters.
okay there there are there are some hotels there in the background but uh, it's not as cluttered directly at the coastline like in Dunan. Basically, <laughs> any boat can uh, By the way, I changed my plan uh, because there is a marked way leading all the way out here. This is the best shot of that island, uh, Neuberg, that I got so far because I'm close to it. Um, So 
today I'm at my usual uh, uh, high tide spot and I need to change the battery shit but I wanted to show you uh, yeah it's especially high high tide today to uh yeah to film a few seconds at least at 11:50 we will see sorry missed the high tide by <coughs> 5 minutes or so And by the way, you can see the <laughs> line, uh, yeah, lines of markers going out there into the mud. I walked yesterday. Well, the rest is well under the water, but you can see if I stop shaking. Last time. Und sie haben versucht, das zu besiedeln und zu verschwinden. Überzeugung haben sie einen Wind. Ich habe keine Idee, was das ist. Aber es ist fort. Trischen mit Haus des Vogelbads im Hintergrund die Bohr. Okay, it's a platform. Okay, two offshore tugs coming in. I guess there was a freighter has needed some assistance out there. I don't know why. <laughs> 